it is a beautiful day here in Seattle and I am going to be outside pretty much all day today so perfect day for it to just be nice and, and snowy. I'm helping set up the D2 Nationals course today because um, SBU is hosting so it's at Chambers Bay Regional Park and I am going to do a workout out there. And my car was back here and I walked past it because I was distracted. But anyways, I have four by 2K. It's going to be true cross country conditions, snowy, grass, wet, soggy, everything we love, everything we're looking for. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna head out there now. There she is. Just parked the car and the first stop is, it's just gonna have to be the bathroom. It was an hour drive and you know, I've worked up something special during that time, so yeah. Okay, so back from the bathroom, what a great trip. I also wanted to mention just, you know, in the spirit of sandbagging fully for this workout, that I got the flu on the way back from Connecticut, which I was in miserable pain for 24 hours, maybe a little more than that. To explain to you how bad it was, I didn't drink coffee for two days. Yeah. The world was close to ending for me. Equilibrium has been restored. I'm feeling a lot better. I was actually able to eat yesterday. That's great. I never threw up because I have this disease where I can't throw up. It's a fun fact about me. I literally am incapable of it. Like I was dry heaving all night long, but nothing ever came up. Is that a thing I would like to know? I'm excited to be training again today. I, I did something easy yesterday, but today's gonna be the first hard thing since the flu. Should be a good little jaunt out there.
That was tough. It was fun, but it gave me <laughs> the hair is great. Definitely gave me flashbacks to cross country and it just reminded me like how much the conditions can really dictate your pace because uh, it was really slushy and sloppy and wet and soggy and that just made it so hard to run fast. Like I was slipping around so much. I almost wish that I had worn spikes, but I also feel like that would have made me really sore. So I'm glad I didn't. But overall it was fun. I got some really quality work in and yeah, I felt strong, even though it was tough. The conditions were terrible, but yeah, that's what cross country is about, you know? It, it's running the best you can in the conditions you're given, so. My stomach, it's in shambles. It hasn't been in this sort of condition since the bad chicken incident of 2021. It's just, I have to walk around like this. I'm not gonna vlog much because I'm so cold and this is a boring process, but pretty much just walking around, sticking stakes in the ground and then wrapping flags around them. It's great. Love every moment of it. Quick update, the hands, the hands are not doing well. I've seen better days. It's okay, we can still put up some flags. So that is what they will do. There you go. I've been putting in the work. It might be six hours of setup, but you get free Jimmy John's. So yeah, they say there's no such thing as a free lunch, but obviously there is. I am not in a good place. I'm just praying that this can bring me back to life. running at D2 Nationals when you go over these mats. I hope you think of me just putting them here. Yep, at sunset. All right, well, the sun is set, but we're heading back now. The course is pretty much done. It was a lot of work, but it is satisfying.